What's up, everybody? This is Ed Heaps with the Energetic City Dossier. This is the Community Roundup, once again brought to you by Brass Furniture and Appliances. Today, we're outside Peace Gallery North, and we're joined by Peace Gallery North's August Artist in Residence, Holly Kirkpatrick Ulrich. She is a local artist. It's a bit of a homecoming for her, and she will be exhibiting her her works uh, in a new exhibit called A Search for Voice. Holly, nice to see you. Um, like I said, this is a bit of a trouble coming for you. Uh, you picked uh, at Peace Gallery North down for a few years, right? Yeah, yeah, I worked a few years there helping out with uh, being uh, consistent in the gallery um, and doing the summer Speak for Your Kids art program. Did that for a few years. Uh, and yeah, just have had my jewelry for sale there. Now I get to have a show, so I've been planning this show for a little while. Um, I've been away in overseas in Switzerland, and I was really inspired by the uh, landscape there. It's so beautiful everywhere. It's just this di- di- very dynamic landscape, and now escape everywhere you look. It's like a picture, like a painting. Um, it's inspired just by the view of my window of where I live. So, I figured I better get busy and get some work happening, and so I worked uh, considering I was going to bring it, be bringing it back. Uh, I decided to do a bunch of floor mats, so they're about 18 by 22, and then that was easy for me to bring back with me. I just have these big bulky canvases. And then I also worked a lot in watercolors, so I'd be out there to see these beautiful lakes everywhere with sailboats on them. And I'd go out with my little easel and set it up and paint the landscape that I saw before me. It's a lot of fun. And um, the language barrier actually gave me a little bit of space because I couldn't really talk very much with people, so then it kept that distraction from happening. And just I. Just brought everything back here for the show. Okay, all right. So a search for a voice. Um, tell us what's going to be included in the show, and I understand uh, each piece of the exhibit is going to be with a date uh, as part of this very uh, special silent auction. So tell us more about that. Yes, it's a silent auction. Everything is up for silent auction. You can come in and make a bid. It's uh, please come in and make a bid. There's in a binder. You can uh, everything's numbered, and you can. Uh, find the piece and put down a bid. Uh, everything's marked up below market value, so you might get a good deal or you can help have some fun boosting it up. I would really appreciate that to just give me that little bit of incentive to keep going, keep going. I feel like I could keep working on this every day for the rest of my life and not be done. Uh, but so I also recognize that it's truly, after all these years, it really is difficult to make a living as an artist. And so, um, but really, it's about recouping costs and, and just you got to do it because you love it. So that's 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 why I continue. I find flow, um, and I had the opportunity to do a consultation with a lady they, uh, through the Dawson Creek Art Gallery. Uh, she was one of the jurors for an artist in residency there, and I was a runner up, so I got a consultation, and that was her recommendation was to just take time do a lot of painting without having to accomplish anything in particular and uh, see kind of what emerges. So continuing to search for an artistic voice. Uh, people often ask you, what kind of paintings do you do? And uh, I always find that a difficult question to answer uh, when you work with watercolor or you work with acrylic or oils or ink, uh, pencil, you can do all those things and they all have a different effect so having a certain style is difficult uh, staying in that one genre so after all this it's funny when I look at what I've done I go yeah maybe there's a bit of a voice there but it's eclectic uh, ever emerging that's what I consider my voice really uh, so there's a lot of different things uh, but maybe when you see it you just give me an idea of what you see, when you see the work that I do. What is the voice that's emerging? And um, and yeah, so there's a whole bunch of work and I'm really proud of what uh, came out of it. Uh, 
I hope that people will come to the show between the 2nd and 29th of August and even consider coming to the closing reception. I will be around at the beginning of the show. So we decided to do it a little differently this time and we're gonna do a closing reception. So it's just casual for fun, enjoyment, come say hi. Uh, also the last chance to put in a bid if you want to bought any of the pieces. Uh, no pressure, of course. Uh, I'm also all for public art galleries that none of the art is for sale. So this gallery is a little bit different. Most things do end up being for sale. And so, yeah, I don't need to hold on to my stuff. I've got tons of artwork that I've done over the years of my own. And uh, I would love for the, some of these pieces to find homes. Uh, besides the watercolor, there's also some pour paintings where you pour them and the uh, colors bloom into these bursts of color called uh, cells. I had a lot of fun with those and some of my metal work. So uh, my art education was at Alberta College of Art and Design. Uh, now it's called Alberta University of Art. Um, out there in Calgary, and I specialized in jewelry and metals. So I did put a few metalwork pieces in there. They're more conceptual, but they are functional. Uh, some metal cuffs, they're Wonder Woman cuff, cuffs, brass cuff bracelets, and uh, buff belt buckles that uh, have an etching on them. And so that's just to, so there could be a little taste of metalwork in there. So see a whole range of Okay, all right, so, so <laughs> tell me what you hope people are going to take away from this event. I hope that people are going to take away a piece of artwork with them to their house <laughs> or to give as a gift. Art makes a great gift and to support local artists is just, it's just so uh, uh, encouraging and uh, one other thing I should also mention is a portion of the proceeds will be going to the Fort St. Johnson Bank. Uh, so it's also a little bit of a fundraiser. Uh, always want to make sure if there's any way that you can help uh, directly in your own community. I think that uh, that's a great uh, opportunity for people to uh, support a good cause and come home with a piece of artwork. Yeah, all right, all right. So. <laughs> For people who don't know, who have more information about the uh, exhibit or about their art gallery, where can they go? Uh, if you want to find out more about the exhibit, it's in the art gallery in the North Peace Cultural Center here. It is called Peace Gallery North, and uh, you can find it on Facebook. They have a Facebook page, um, and you can also come right on down here to 100 and 100 in St. John, and you can. Um, also reach out to me if you want to on Facebook, uh, Holly Patrick Alridge. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, anything you want to talk about about the art, the show, um, or just uh, probably the best is to just come down to the show. Um, there's not, we're not making a big point of putting things out as far as I know online. So it's something where it has to be in person. This is something I've learned about my own personal artist voice. To, is that uh, the online web media, uh, having a website and everything just isn't my forte, isn't part of my voice. And so at this time, their work isn't uh, going to be accessible that way. You have to come down and see it. Um, if that changes, uh, that will be uh, something you can find out on the Facebook page. Uh, but chances are right now, it's mostly going to be just here, just for us, just for this community and to come down for the closing reception and celebrate just the enjoyment of art. There's no pressure to buy anything, uh, but there's also possibly some uh, good opportunities to get some good and deal. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. All right, that's all the questions I have. Holly, thank you very much for time. Once again, it's avigilenergetics.ca and this has been the Communion Roundup brought to you by Brad's Furniture and Appliances.